Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff. In the previous video, we have successfully inserted and retrieved data from database. So in this video, we'll learn how to update the data into a database. And as soon as I complete this tutorial on CRUD operation, I will provide source code of this application into in our description box of each and every video. So let's start uh, writing the code. First, we'll jump to our database helper file and we have to create one method here that will be public. Uh, it will be type of boolean and we'll name it as update data. It will be similar to insert data, but uh, one thing is additional that is ID. So string ID and then we'll pass your string name and string email. Okay, and first thing that we are going to do, we'll just create instance of SQLite database. So db this dot get writable database. Then we'll create one content values. So we have discussed a lot about content values in the first video. So new content values. Content values dot put. And here we'll pass column one as a key. So it will be name of the column and then we'll provide here ID. So we'll just duplicate it two times and then this will be column two and this will be name. This will be email and this will be column three. Okay, so now we'll just uh, update the data. So db.update. So this uh, update method takes four parameters. So first will be table name and then content values and then a query that will be id equals question mark and then a string array so new id okay so now we'll just return true here and everything is fine we'll just minimize this and we'll jump to our main activity dot Java and here we have to create one method that will help us to perform all the operations perform the update operation so public void update data and we'll add here on click listener to our update button so update button dot set on click listener new on click listener and we'll just call this method just right after this uh, show data so update date update data so at the first in this method uh, we'll just create one boolean variable so boolean is updated and we'll call our mydb instance dot update data and we'll pass here id dot sorry id edit dot get text and to string then we'll pass here name edit dot get text to string and the last one email edit get text dot to string and the semicolon at the last okay now we'll just check here if is updated is true then show the toast data updated successfully And if this is not the case, then the else statement will show another toast. Uh, let's say data update or something went wrong. Okay, so we have done all the job here. We'll just check if our app is working or not. So yeah, we'll first check uh, if there is data in ID one or not. So one and show data. So there is a David and David at the rate one two three email. So we'll just update this. So we'll write here Disha and Disha at the rate one two three. Now we'll just click on show. Uh, sorry, update data. So data updated successfully. Now we'll just check if uh, data is updated or not so id1 and the show data so yeah you can see data is updated at id1 there is a name 
Disha instead of David and there is an email Disha at the rate 1 2 3 instead of David at the rate 1 2 3. So we have successfully updated the data. So this is it for this video. In the upcoming videos, we will see how to perform all the remaining operations. So make sure you subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching.